the adventures of Jungle Jim. In last week's story, we found out how Jungle Jim discovered proof that the tiger is Ronald, the son of Peter Hawkins. Jim talked with him and told him that Bhutan's prisoner, known as the Ancient One, is his own father. On learning this, Ronnie broke away from Jim with the cry that he was going to kill Bhutan. Meanwhile, within the camp, Shanghai Lil won Bhutan's confidence and his consent to make slaves of the two prisoners, Myra Trent and Peter Hawkins. Faced by Lil and told of this decision, Peter Hawkins objected. But Lil silenced him with the warning that unless he obeyed her orders, his son Ronnie would be shot. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full color, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue our story. Just as Shanghai Lil delivered her ultimatum to Peter Hawkins, the crazed Ronnie Hawkins burst into the hut. Nice playmates you have around here, Prince. He shall pay for this with his life. No, no, no. Listen, Bhutan. The boy's not right in his head. He doesn't rightly know what he's doing. Silence, uh, one. Your son shall die for this. If you lay a hand on him, I'll choke the life out of you. If I die for it the next minute. You're hardly in a position to make threats, Mr. Hawkins. You forget you're a slave. Mr. Brill, I must ask that you permit me to handle this in my own way. Death is the penalty for disobedience. The tiger's claw has spoken. Now, Bhutan, Bhutan, now I'll make a bargain with you. Spare my boy and I'll do whatever you want me to. So, now... Mr. Hawkins, at last you are willing to listen to reason. Yes, yes. <laughs> Prince, the old man is right. The tiger has played into our hands, don't you see? By making Hawkins here responsible for his son's actions, we gain two valuable slaves. The ancient one will do as I order. Uh. Otherwise, he too shall know death. Now spare the boy, Bhutan, and I'll do your bidding. Arm him, and someday I'll choke the life out of you. <laughs> Perhaps you will not live to see that day, Mr. Hawkins. Uh, Run out! Yes, master. Throw the ancient one back in his cell. What are you going to do to my son, Ronnie? I suggest that you watch through the bars, Mr. Hawkins. He goes to join your friend... Jungle Jim Bradley. Uh, I'll get even with you, Bhutan. I'll get even with you. Mr. Vril, you have called me weak. Now I'll show you how Prince Bhutan deals with those who oppose his wishes. Oh, don't go off half cocked, Prince Bhutan. This Ronnie's a valuable man. Through him, we can control his father. You wish to save him? I don't understand. A few moments ago, you advised shooting the Ancient One. Isn't it wiser to have two able-bodied slaves? Perhaps you are right. Of course I'm right. Punish him, if you will. But remember, alive, he is valuable to us. Hmm. Very well, he lives. If he can survive 50 lashes with the whip. <laughs> oh, you give him 50 lashes, Prince Bhutan, you'll kill him. That is in the hands of the gods. Watch through the window and you will see. Oh, Prince Bhutan. Gonha. Here, Martha. Bring the tiger around to the whipping post by the ancient one's cell. Yes, Martha. I'll kill you, Bhutan. I'll kill you. Silence, fool. I thought I told you to follow Miss Vril. But, girl, she was gone. She was gone, I tell you. I'll teach you to disobey me. Tie his hands to the whipping post. Yes, Martha. Oh, let me go. I tell you the girl was gone, Bhutan. He said she was gone. He? Who said that? I don't remember. She was gone. Answer me, Tiger. Who said that she was gone? Whom have you seen? I don't remember. It was the war. Wounded men. The girl was gone. Mm, gone. Perhaps the heavy end of the whip will help you to remember. No! Who said the girl was gone? I'll kill you, Bhutan. I'll kill. I'll kill. I'll teach you to obey. 
to speak when you're spoken to. No! <laughs> she was gone. The man with the bayonet was there. Guns, wounded men, marching. I'll marching. make you talk, Tiger. Oh! 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 <laughs> I thought I told you to stay inside, Miss Tibrill. You punished him enough. He'll die. Perhaps that would be better. Oh, stop, please. Very well, Miss Tibrill. Gunhart. Yes, my sir. Throw this wreck into the cell with the ancient one. Then report to me. From now on, you're my head man. It shall be as you say, my sir. Now, Miss Tibrill, I have something to say to you. A short time later, Colo, Jim's trusted servant, slipped into the jungle and made his way to the old mine. We find him there now, talking to Jungle Jim. Colo, you say that you heard Lil tell Prince Bhutan to shoot Peter Hawkins? Yes, it was, Jim. Oh, I, I can't believe it. Colo, stand under window. Missy Lil make slave of Missy Mara, then tell Bhutan to shoot Juan Hawkins. Ah, I can't understand it, Colo. Lil wouldn't say a thing like that. Missy Lil, friend to Bhutan, Juan Jim. No, no, Colo, you, you must be mistaken. Colo, hear Missy Lil talk about ivory and emeralds. Bhutan say they be rich, they friend. Colo? I'm going back into that camp with you. Tuan Jim, you'll be caught. Oh, no, I won't. Now, come on. Help me with this disguise. Yes, it's one. I'm going in dressed as a native. Now, I want you to show me which hut Peter Hawkins is locked in. Here. Help me fasten this turban. Face your white one, Jim. Oh, that's all right, Colo. I'll keep it covered. That's fine. Now, now, come on. Yes, it's one. Which hut is Lillian, Colo? The big one near the jungle? Yes, it's one, Jim. She in hut with Prince Bhutan. One Hawkins in small one with bars on window. All right. I'll find it. No! Colo! Colo, listen. No! Someone that's whipping boat, Tuan Jim. Yes, and I think I know who it is. Bhutan is trying to get information from the tiger. he tell about you, Tuan Jim. Uh, well, we'll soon know. Come on. No! No! Back, Colo. I can see them now. You'll be caught, Tuan. Oh, they can't see us here. Look, Tuan. Tiger on ground. Bhutan killed him. Yes, I see him. Wait. There's Lil. She's with Bhutan. They whipped Tiger, Tuan. Maybe he tell about see you. No, no, I, I don't think so, Colo. Look. They're carrying the tiger into a hut. Is that the one where Hawkins is? Yes, it's one. That prison hut. Now listen, Colo. I want you to stay right here. Take this gun I took away from the tiger. Yes, it's one. Where you go? I'm going into that camp and find out what's going on. <laughs> Inside Bhutan's hut, a heated argument has been taking place between Lil and Prince Bhutan. It ends as Lil goes to her room. You will stay here. I cannot allow you to interfere again, Miss Tibril. Do not leave these rooms until I call for you. Am I to understand that I'm a prisoner? We will talk about that later. Until then, you will do as I command. You cowardly beast. Your turn's coming, Bhutan. And soon. Why, Mr. Brill, he locked you in? What are you doing in here? Well, you sent me here. Well, I don't want to talk to you. I'll, I'll keep this room, and you get in the next one and stay there. Oh, Mr. Brill, please. You're not really with Prince Bhutan, are you? That's my business, Miss Tran. Please, you must listen to me. If you don't, you'll kill all of us. I told you I don't want to talk to you. There are two rooms here. Get into the next one and stay there until I send for you. Oh, but you must listen. I don't need any help from you. Now get out. Oh, he'll kill all of us. I know he will. Oh. What was that? Oh. oh, someone's outside. Get into that room and close the door. Go on. I'll take care of this. Bill. Jim. Bill. Come to the window. Jim, you fool. Why'd you come here? I wanted to find out what's going on, Lil. You'll be caught. 
Whose hands? Men are everywhere, and they're armed. Never mind me. What I want to know is what's happened here. I saw you and Bhutan whipping the tiger. You mean you saw Bhutan whipping him? You were with him. Jim, what are you talking about? I ran out to stop him. He was using the whip as a club. He would have killed him. What about Peter Hawkins? He's all right. He's locked in that hut over near the jungle. Why did you order him shot? What was the idea? So you know that, too. Yes. Now I want to know what's going on, Lil. Have you fallen for this Prince Bhutan? Jim, you're a fool. Do you think I'd join him? Well, that's what I came to find out, Lil. If I were with Bhutan, I wouldn't be locked in here, would I? You mean that you're a prisoner? The same as your girlfriend, Myra Trent. Maybe you'd like to talk to her. She's in the next room. I'll call her. Lil, come back here. You're the one I want to talk to. Now tell me, what's happened? Are you sure that you believe me? You could hardly blame me if I didn't, could you? Polo heard you order Peter Hawkins killed. That was a bluff, Jim. Hawkins is all right. I tried to win Bhutan's confidence. I did, too. He gave me both Peter Hawkins and your girlfriend, Myra, as slaves. Yes. I had Bhutan wound around my little finger until the tiger came back. All right. Well, then what happened? Bhutan was going to kill him, and I interfered. So that's what happened. Now, listen to me, Lil. I'm going to go over... Jim! What is it? Somebody's coming. Run! Who are you talking with through that window, Mr. Brill? <laughs> Why, Prince, I wasn't talking to anybody. You lie. I heard voices. You were talking to somebody. Get out of my way. There's no one out there. Who was that native? He ran around the corner of the hut. It must have been one of your own men. We shall soon see. It might interest you to know that the camp is surrounded and that my men have orders to shoot, to kill. <laughs> kill them! Jim! <laughs> Jim! <laughs> 